internet is pretty slow so i'm just you know trying to connect it to facebook Hello, Gita Ma, Gita Princess. <laughs> oh my God. After a long gap. Yeah, how are you? Hey. <laughs> wow. We missed you, I know. On several yeah, occasions. Yeah, I think missed you all. Oh, yes. You know, yes, you know. <laughs> Is it live in? Uh, uh, Facebook now. Hello. Yes, yes. Hi. I'm just. Hi. I'm Hi. just trying to connect. Hi, Exeter. Hi. Hi, Yaksha. sir. Old man. <laughs> yeah. No, you are live in uh, Facebook now. Yes, we are pretty much live, and we are going to begin in a while. Uh, yes, I'm ready to join. Hello. What? I'm ready to join. <laughs> Hi. So, Hi. Hello. Hi. Very hi, bad. hi. Hi. I look very bad. Yeah, you look very bad, sir. And yeah, you would. <laughs> and we had two minutes left to begin the program. And uh, very bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you feel now. <laughs> uh, here is the point. I'm ready. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> uh, oh, Ganga Lakshmi. Madam Ganga Lakshmi, uh, I am your sir. Uh, do we have the uh, Do we have the link for the Facebook? Those who want to watch. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, it's there in the chat box. I given in the. I put the link in the chat box. You could just click it. Down. Okay. Or you could just you could just copy it. Can you please send me in the messenger if you don't mind? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. Uh, there in the chat box for all you to is huh? click. Hi, Mick. Hi, Lishita. 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 Uh, well, let's yeah. begin the program. Thanks for you know, uh, Did you raising the, the attention. Uh, one second. Yeah, I'll share <laughs> just a bit. I mean, uh, me. let me welcome you all <laughs> for the poetic evening of uh, Pen Wonders. Uh, I mean, Pen Wonders How poetic you, evening with uh, Petal Brains. <laughs> you look very lonely. Okay, yeah. let's begin the show with uh, Akshay, sir. Akshay sir is a senior professor, retired professor from, you know, uh, the, uh, Gujarat University and he is going to recite, present a poem. Akshay sir, kindly present your poem sir. 
आपको बोलना है आपको बोलना है आपका टर्न आया आई टू बिगिन माई पॉइंट ओके the war in post modern times who oh lord how many families disordered destroyed lost by war only for fortunate leader fathers lost sons bothered not human sufferings a prideful inhuman monster several women lost their husbands becoming poor solitary widows because of eco blow many poor sisters lost their brothers because of dictatorial reader many young lads and lasses snatched of daddy's love wanting other subordinate because of artillery missiles heavy bombs one becoming head strong because <laughs> desiring servility such as one without consideration of any compassion a leader full of vanity pride of superiority superiority and obsession considering his closest neighbor lower inferior his war machines considers so much superior to be should always remain he clothed by nearest his fat slipper greatest greatest dangers become many fill million families murderer red signals of five several families caused to fly or die on paths of hunger one whims of self pride and power his hitlerism makes humanity suffer makes humanity suffer that's all <laughs> toy is over my boy is over thank you <laughs> That's wonderful, sir. Thank you, and uh, it's a thoughtful poem. In fact, I would say, "Kita mohanti ma'am." Would you like to say something? Yeah, it was a uh, very time-appropriate uh, composition. Definitely, uh, very thoughtful and. Uh, I, I, I'm uh, here in this poem. I'm talking about, uh, uh, you see, uh, a leader uh, who is full of pride. only because of pride he makes many people suffer for salvation they have to leave that place and so on yeah. and besides uh, i don't know <laughs> what else to say uh, here at this moment particularly yes sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you for being thank you geeta ma'am and uh, now i will call upon nick meza from ashtray and wish time thank you sir Nick, yes. what do you have for us, Nick? <coughs> His mic is mute. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get back to ya. I was looking for a poem. What do I have for you? Okay, um, angel's trumpet. The tra it's a plant. Um, okay. Angels trumpet on a tree sway in a winter's day. I think of those past. The stars twinkle at night, and it's this sight that makes me think of the woodwind in the orchestra that plays the aria. Okay. It's the symphony of angels when you drink the tea. Then you wander in a slumber of music. This psychedelic adventure, retelling stories I pick apart. I remember. Start with a friend in a stranger's house, making a coffee. I browse in this conversation. This liaison was recalled by a stranger on the train when he met my friend, who is still shaken by this story. So heed my heed my advice. If you take a trip, go overseas. There you'll seek happy memories. But if you sip the tea, you never remember. You're on a trip, and there's the flowers. Don't drink the tea. Wait a sec. Oh, wait, wait. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you, Michael. Back, come back to you. Uh, that form, that form was a bazzoletta. 
Marcia, let the phone. And thank you, thank you. I'll come back to you. Uh, meanwhile, I'll ask Gita Monty, ma'am, to recite the poem. Thank you so much, um, Prasanna, uh, for inviting me, and it's a pleasure to be here with all of you. Um, today, I'm going to recite my first poem titled Autobiography of a Fallen Leaf. I was playing with ether, didn't know all of a sudden, without any prior information, to me, my home would be abandoned. I thought it never, that I would be rescued by the river. The river assured it's not the fault of the tree. For the, for the time being, you are here with me. It's time for the fall to fall. Tree was undone after all. With the emotion of the moving river, reluctantly, I moved with my tears. As the hands were not extended by the heartless stagnant shore, though I tried enough to anchor, the flow of river was unable to camouflage my soul's tear. Memories of the birds, memories of the nature, memories of the playful ether, memories of my dears still held me tight. Though my body was flowing in the water, my mind was held high above, fluttering in the air. I didn't want to leave, but I left. I didn't want to fall, but I fell. I didn't want to get drenched, but got drenched. I didn't want to be soaked, but got soaked. And also, I didn't want to get detached, but got detached. On the way, the perishable existence slowly became perishable. Nature gifted my pride, the vibrant color faded away. After all, I surrender myself to the dest destined direction. Slowly, agonizing agonies disappeared, washed away all my lingering emotions. Finally, my existence submerged in the vastness of the ocean. Thank you so much, dear all, for hearing me. Uh, such a what do you call engrossing word i would say very engrossing and touching and uh, i like the way you use the memories i would straight away go to padmavati ma'am to ask her a quick comment on gita ma'am yeah gita i often see your poems even on facebook you write so well and i loved your recitation too and i felt that you know it is like a narration you know you are just narrating something and so interestingly yeah really commendable your word wordplay is good thank you thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you sir ma'am thank you geeta ma'am we'll come back to you now i would go to i think I would go to Lishila and introduce, I would ask her to introduce Leonello. Leonello. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it <laughs> perfectly, but that's the so, so hi hi everybody. Nice, nice to see you all. I'm here in Italy. I'm normally in Switzerland. Today I'm here in Italy with my friend, a poem, a poet from Naples, Maurizio Lioniello. Maurizio doesn't speak English, but uh, there is one poem of his that he, I translated into, into English. So uh, I will uh, first read my poem, uh, and then Maurizio will read his poem in Italian and in English. And I will also read my poem in Italian and in English. Quando crollò il cielo. Resto fermo nell'istante il gesto, e fu tutto l'improvviso e vasto mormorio del mondo, di alberi fruscianti, di panchine strusciate con le unghie, di barattoli di sugo tintinnanti, di lamiere arrugginite, di sale e zucchero, versati in perfetta, disarmonica assonanza. L'istante fu magnifico, appuntato sul fondale con gli spilli. Tu e io a guardarlo balerine opposte, cercando di capire senso e geometrie 
promesse urlate nei citofoni e poi lasciate al vento, c'è la tensa nei segnali, nelle voci, arriva il suono, sempre dopo il lampo, io resto ad ascoltarne l'eco. When the sky fell down, the gesture remained fixed in the moment, all around instead it was the sudden and vast murmur of the world of rustling trees and benches scrapped with naked nails, the sizzling of jars of saws, the tinkling of rusty metal paints of salt and sugar poured in perfect disharmonic assonance. The instant was magnificent, pinned to the backdrop with pins. You and I, looking at it from opposite shores, trying to understand Sense in geometry. Could you please, whoever has the microphone on, turn it off? Thank you. I will uh, read the last part. The instant was magnificent, pinned to the backdrop with pins. You and I looking at it from the opposite shores, trying to understand sense and geometries of promises shouted in the intercoms and then left to the wind. There is latency in the signals, in the voices. The sound always arrives after the spark. I stay listening to its echo. And now Maurizio. That's wonderful. Lila. Thank you. In fact, you know, bringing up, you know, introducing us, uh, <laughs> and my internet connection is really really weak so i had i heard nothing of what you said Prasad. i'm sorry anyhow the maurizio again is a poet from naples and uh his poetry is normally very very rich, very, very, very strong, very uh, concrete, almost like is, um, it's a discourse, it's a narration. This poem here is uh, on the shorter side of among his uh, poems, and it's um, more a love poem, which normally he doesn't write. So I leave uh, the Italian to him first. Sibilla. Oracolo del mio cuore è la tua voce, non profonda, non tenebrosa, non fredda, non mia, esterna la mia mente, vaghi tu, impalpabile, eternamente lontana, riesco forse a seguire la scia delle tue farse, delle tue mani, mani di maga, che rotolano sui miei sogni, sul mio corpo, trasformando in realtà falene, notturni e gufi stanno a ringhiare come sciacalli di denti sulle mie sfortunate cartelle. Oramai riesco ad andare avanti senza bastoni che macellano il mio già straziato corpo. Non fa niente se non ho imparato a suonare la chitarra, il pianoforte, il tamburo. Non sarei mai riuscito a portare il ritmo del battito del tuo cuore le percussioni del basso istinto folleggiano nelle esitanti ombre notturne, i tuoi corpi dipinti sul muro delle tele che dipingi non riescono ad impressionarmi più. I will read the English. Sibyl, oracle of my heart, your voice is not deep, not dark, not cold, not mine. Outside my mind, you wander impalpable, eternally distant. I can, perhaps, Follow the trail of your farces, of your hands, hands of a sorceress, rolling on my dreams, on my body, turning into reality. Nocturnal moths and olds stand to growl like laughing jackals on my unfortunate satchels. Now I can go on without sticks to slaughter my already mangled body. Does not matter if I haven't learned to play the guitar, the piano, or the drum. I would never be able to carry the rhythm of your heartbeat. The percussions of the low instinct go crazy in the hesitant night shadows. 
your bodies painted on the wall of the canvases you paint, they cannot impress me anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, Sheila, I must say, you know, the absolute silence, the way he decided, you know, the way he uh, rendered this poem, it's like, it, you know, it, we, we could understand, you could not understand the language, but you could feel it, you know. And uh, thanks for presenting uh, the translation of that, you know, poem. And really, it was, you know, it's like a discourse. I mean, it's like, yeah, as you said, uh, thank you. Thank you for bringing, uh, introducing uh, the poem. And it's really engrossing. I mean, thank you. Thank you. I would uh, go back to Rakesh Chandrasar and ask his uh, opinion on your poem. Rakesh Chandrasar. Uh, am I audible, sir? Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Actually, yes, yes. The, Clear. the best thing about this poem, and uh, in uh, I, I don't understand Italian, and nobody does in this, uh, you see, their form, but the English rendition, it amply reflects the uh, deep connection between the human life and the nature. There is, uh, you see, beautifully woven into this poem, uh, you see, connecting the body, or the, you, the actions of the body at moments with the uh, rising of the sun uh, or the, you see, when sun goes down, that is a, you see, uh, you can describe the life so well, just by equating the nature, equating with nature and with the sun, you can, uh, you see, very well describe the, you see, uh, rhythm of life. That is the beauty of, uh, and, and other thing is that you are rightly said that this discourse, this poem is in the form of a discourse. What is the thinking, uh, or you see what uh, a poet reflects in the sense of, um, you correctly say, metaphysical sense. The poem, the poem is a, of meta, metaphysical tenor, and that is a that has been beautifully rendered by the poetess. I I can only say that it was a you see worth hearing the words and the rendition of the poem. I really congratulate the poem, the poetess and the poet both. Thank you. Absolutely, sir. absolutely. Now uh, you could go ahead with your poem, sir. You could read your poem. Thank you, sir. thank you. First of all, very good evening to all dear poets. My the title of my poem is The Eternal Lamp. I wish I could be of, of such type. This is my dream. Amidst the ruins of roughly hewn logs of wood lying around, like the relics of once flourishing past, I stand tall. Though unused for long, I symbolize the source of eternal life. I am the lamp of enlightenment. I am waiting for a new week of hope and joy and a fresh dose of oil of human emotions. Let somebody light the match to make me burn incessantly. I wish to eliminate the dark alleys of the confused minds of a wounded civilization. I am ready to flash the flames of happiness for the souls in despair. I am the epitome of what is good in life I am the lamp of divine light. I will survive beyond eternity. Thank you. Very nice, very nice, sir. Thank you. I would go to Jennifer to ask her uh, a reaction of Argesh Chandra's poem. Jennifer. I, I enjoy the poem. Jennifer, very welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chandra, I enjoyed your poem very much and the way you put yourself out to being the, I would say the light of the world in this poem. It was very, very interesting. I Thank loved you. it. Thank you so Thank much. You. You're welcome. Thank you, Jennifer. Now I would go ask, uh, go to Padma ma'am to, uh, you know, ask her to recite a poem. Padma ma'am. Yeah, yeah. 
I hope I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure meeting everyone here. Uh, my the title of my poem is "The Light of the World." I dreadfully pass through the dense jungle and cherish serenity at the bank of the river. Responsibility I always seem to bungle. I know the earth is kind and a gift giver. I see my vague image in the calm waters. The shade in darkness reminds me my duty. Flow of the stream is disturbed by a squatter. He is not the legal man to spoil the beauty. The mighty trees around me caress the soil. Swaying branches whisper stories in my ears. The brownish land is fertile and ready to toil. No weather could inculcate in me any fears. The bluish sky is adorned with the rainbow. The sun's rays illuminate the watery body. My eyes sparkle to visualize the great show. The panoramic view is loved by everybody. I gently glide on my way with a great hope. With no worry, I observantly see the vast sky. The cattle, sheep, and birds with nature cope. The light of the world says slowly, slowly, bye. Thank you. It is uh, wow. well, the same nice. thing time. <laughs> I just told I, I, I like the you. you. I like the use of word observantly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know some words that you we use. You know that's you know that like a say a catch word. <laughs> so I on that note I would go to Mildred Parr, Mildred and uh, Oscar reaction. Mildred, kindly unmute your mic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And I'm so excited because I'm seeing some friends again. I miss those friends. Hi, Gita. And Miss Gangalaksmi and Yakshaya and many others. Okay, I'll go to my poem. I, I hope I'm, at, I'm audible because I also have a weak connection. Okay, I'll be reading now. The title, this was... Um, posted on the, the walls and the title is you and the piano music as i lay down to rest i listen to my subdued piano music i wondered how i love this mellow sounds when i used to listen to love songs then i think of you you and your mellow years the moon rising from your head the moon glow giving me solace as I sleep in your arms. None of the sunny vibrancy, but a whole lot of quietude, the silent breathing and heaving of your chest, the feeling of security telling me I can sleep soundly. What a night, how I thank God I no longer run. Our shared love and lives so divine. The piano music rising, how enchanting to be loved so deeply with each note sweetly lulling me to sleep, but not yet. Let me finally enjoy you and the music. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It's me. It's the piano. It's uh, you and the piano music. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mildred. Uh, thank you for presenting. Uh, uh, give the comment. I mean, uh, put your reaction on, you know, uh, Padmavati ma'ams. I asked initially. Because, oh, you know, maybe. when you... When you are sleeping, when you are going to sleep, it's much better to be secured so that you can sleep sound at night. And usually when you are aging, you know, 
uh, having your loved ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, that was really beautiful. Marlin. And now I will go, I'll go to uh, Vijay Lakshmi, uh, Ganga Lakshmi Patnaik, ma'am. Ah. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, everyone. Ma'am, I request you. I... I am Ganga Lakshmi yeah. Patnaik from Odisha. Felt a great pleasure receiving invitation for recitation. It's an honor to be invited. That added happiness to me. It's really awesome to participate in virtual recitation. Before my recitation, I like to wish you a happy World Chocolate Day today. That is July 7th. Life becomes easy when you have an amazing partner by your side sharing cream chocolates. I pay my tribute to chocolates as these have an antioxidant and antioxidants are beneficial for health. Now, I would like to carry on my poem on chocolates and the title of the poem is Ode to Chocolate. Chocolates are the petals of my ecstasy, offer the pollens of my dreams. Chocolates are the petals of my ecstasy, offer the pollens of my dreams. Please join with me in taking a bite, indulging in delightful chocolate treats. Please join with me in taking a bite, indulging in delightful chocolate treats. Amid evening's animated flutter, yummy, divine, delicious, melty and creamy chocolates only glitter. Amid evening's animated flutter, yummy, divine, delicious, melty and creamy chocolates only glitter. Milk chocolate, sweet German chocolates, white chocolates, yellow. I know I could eat 100 pieces more. Milk chocolate, sweet German chocolates, white chocolates, yellow. I know I could eat 100 pieces more. Such rare gifts, dark chocolates, honeyed, flavorful, spicy, juicy chocolates, eat, get, I treasure. Such rare gifts, dark chocolates, honeyed, flavorful, spicy, juicy chocolates, eat, get a treasure to brighten the face of my dawn, break beyond time's uninhibited, unrestricted measure. To brighten the face of my dawn, break beyond time's uninhibited, unrestricted measure. Night. Now I close my recitation. This is the end of my first recitation. Thanks, Prasanna. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yum, yummy, yummy, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, uh, this would, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I could go to Gita, ma'am, chocolate face. <laughs> to, to show her reaction, I mean, give her reaction. Gita, ma'am. Yeah, I was just imagining the lot of chocolate names since she described so beautifully eat chocolate about and um, the names and the description, the taste. So it's a beautiful poetic representation of the, it's, it's a, I take it as symbolic uh, towards the life. Um, it's chocolate is not just a material for taste. Uh, it is the life, the emotions, how each emotion we, we take in our life, how we feel about it. Um, so Maybe the, nowadays chocolates are spicy, chocolates are also available. So earlier we used to know chocolates are sweet. So life is like that with various emotions like chocolatey. Um, it's a very different concept writing on chocolate. Uh, really commendable job. I always love your poems. Thank you, madam. <laughs> thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, your, your, I mean, your review on that poem has enhanced the beauty of uh, the poem. I mean, Tangy flower <laughs> and poetry <laughs> in the soul and everything. <laughs> and on that note, we could I could go to Prasanna Varsar.
Yes, sir. Here. Paper Scottish. Award goes to honor Kushan Kumarji and Patal Green Group. Respected Ganga Haranji and Pan Wonders International Group. I'm going to restart a peculiar poem, a poem of personification. Title and caption of my poem. Due to hearing women's voice for her man, the question and title of my poem. Due to hearing women's voice for her man, I know. Unlike men, women are not primary driver by nature. Unlike men, women, women are not primarily driven by looks. Most of her cannot. I will decide if I am attracted to a man because of how that man makes me feel. My heart jumps every time. I see your name in the notification of my post, like a comment. Not all the time. Not all the time. I like to be dependent on you. Sometimes I like to support you financially as well as mentally. I always feel special when you remember small details about me. I love it when you open up to me. I love it when you open up to me, when you tell us about your fears. Your worst problems, you are in our demo. It makes me feel that I am really important to you. I am really important to you. I am possessive by nature. I easily get jealous when I see you talking with other girls. I easily get jealous when I see you talking with other girls. I know how I look. Still, I ask you because I love it. I know how I look. Still, I ask you because I love it. When you appreciate my beauty, I find intelligence without arrogance sexy. It is extremely sexy when a man knows how to maintain this intelligence without riding a high horse in the process. You are deep. Most line voice is like a music in my ears. Your deep masculine voice is like a music in my ears. And the sound of your love, oh my, it melts my heart. I want a man who is in control. I want a man who is in control, but not controlling. But not controlling there is difference. I hardly share any posts or status without any cause. There is always some reason or stories behind posting it. I do not give up easily on a man who I love. I do not give up easily on a man who I love. But once we are done, no matter what you do, I never come back. Like you stare at girls like you stare at girls. I do stare at boys. In fact, better than you. When I'm into you, when I'm into you, you talking dirty turn me on. I love it. If you tell my parents and friends about us, it means a lot. It means a lot. I love it. I love it. When you caught me staring at you and ask what? I love it. When you explain my importance in your life, I may be denying some of your points, but I blush and feel extremely happy from inside. My libido is triggered by my emotions and not what I can only see. So set aside your hopes of a human. 
being turned on by your option alone feed my emotion and everything else feel hello feel feed my emotion and everything else will follow i am scarcely waiting for you to test me fast women do not want to be with a bad boy women do not want to be with a bad boy what women want is to be with a nice guy that is confident and a leader who holds boundaries respect himself and with washi sex appeal all passion gesture never gets old for us man do not let chivalry try no man wants no man No man wants to be with a weak man. No man wants to be with a weak man. We love dominance at times. An open-minded man is a great man. Someone who is not biased against race, religion, and opinions. An open-minded man is a great man. Someone who is not biased against race, religion, and opinions. when i say when i say i love you we mean it we mean it we mean it thanks for listening my fire i'm going to put it complete my fire thanks that's i would say so <laughs> that's really wonderful i mean i without wasting much of your time i would go to jennifer Jennifer You want me to do a poem now? Jennifer kindly unmute your mic and you know I speak up. Okay. Should I do my poem now? Can you hear me? Are you able to hear me now? Prasanna? I think Prasanna is unable to hear you. Uh-huh. Jennifer, I think you can continue reciting your poem if you don't okay, mind. Okay, good. He looks okay. still. Okay. My poem is titled Stripping Myself. I appreciate your concern. that through my writings i am stripping myself completely naked making myself totally vulnerable for them to use and misuse me my writings are not all about me they are the joys the pains of more than a few of us look within you will discover yourself looking back at you my imagination creeps strays peaks rushes everywhere forming pictures in my mind evolving into letters printing words on paper my imagination is simply delving into man's mind x-raying man's thoughts revealing man's emotions showing me showing you showing us all we are no different I speak for all who are afraid to speak for themselves so I have got to let them out thank you a uh, very <clears throat> very empowering poem jennifer um i just loved it how you represent oh. all of us and oh, uh, thank <laughs> yeah it's really a uh, very uh, deep composition and very boldly you have written that amazing thank work. you dr geet i'm glad you liked it thanks <laughs> you're welcome dear so i think if person is not there i also uh, i also yeah. like a title <laughs> stripping <laughs> yes it might appear at first different meaning but then as you go on it's yeah. revealing it's a revelation of one's thought not only yourself but uh, as a speaker for those who can speak for themselves yeah it's very good actually oh thank, thank you thank you very much thank you that's lovely oh. 
yeah. I think uh, if Prasanna is uh, maybe unable to connect, um, so who started first? Maybe one round we finished all. Uh, anybody uh, didn't read? Isaac from Israel did not read. So okay, please. The, yeah. His name is the Prince. Isaac has not read. Yeah. Uh, there are some more who did not read even Gita. Yeah, Prince, please, can you uh, recite yours? Shama Prasad, sir, has. Yeah, been... Shama Prasad uh, didn't recite, I think. Uh, Shama even Prasad, even... can, you, can even... you please unmute yourself and recite your composition? Mm -hmm. And yeah, then we'll get evening. back to uh, Prince. Good evening, yeah. everyone. Actually, I'm missing uh, Prasanna, sir. But I express my gratitude for providing this opportunity. Then we'll get back to this uh, my poem. Just time, Prince. one minute. Everyone, providing this opportunity. Yeah. One minute. So I am Samaprasad uh, Patna. Uh, uh, Samaprasad Ji, can all of us please unmute? Uh, or can you on? Uh, I sorry, can we all of yes, us? Sir, unmute I have unmuted. You, do you yeah. hear me? No? Yeah, we can hear you. I'm just requesting all of us to mute yeah. ourselves. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So my, the title of my poem is uh, Poetry, My Healing Bound. It's all about uh, my feelings about poetry. Weaving twigs to construct nest, protecting family from rain, cyclone, and lightnings. My poems invoke boundless confidence in me as healing balm of worries. Forget my meal whenever I sit down to scribble ballads of emotional verses. Burn midnight oil and traverse through the lens of my imaginary dreams. Part of my emotions evoke to chiming bells of far off churches. Relaxing in the lakeside floral garden, beneath beaming moon amidst jasmine blossoms. In witching hours, star gazing from balcony, perceives imaginary and airy realms. In the golden dawn, rising glorious sun evokes verses of spiritual feelings. Floral blossoms, cool zephyr, and springs whispering reeds reverberate my emoting vocabularies. Mellow fruitfulness of spring paints panorama of my poetic expression and emotions. My mind glides through blue azure like a giant high soaring albatross. Beautiful and glamorous earth's flora and fauna enhances my skills and elegance. Drizzling raindrops falling on leaves of giant banyan tree doubles palpitations. Ardhi scents of sands in maiden rain gathers euphorial and romantic bliss. Uniform chorus acoustics by giant frogs under yam leaves synchronize musical lyrics. And that is the end of my poem. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Gita, ma'am. Uh, you know, uh, we're carrying the show, and uh, you know, uh, during my absence, I mean, break. No, no, I, I, I mean, can understand it happens sometimes. So instead of just getting it's stopped, pretty and... bad, pretty bad. I thank you for handling that. You know, and I would go. I would go to a Bizo now. Bizo. Thank you, Kumar, and thank you, all my friends in the world. I the Uming beer flew over my floor with eyes like a my nectar. Did you have your feet? 
you sit and move on like a muse fading me a song finish me does goes on your on our story we will love together for eternity we will love together for eternity thank you as a coin israel thank you thank you thank you Yeah, Prince thank you. Isaac Cohen, thank you. You're always, you know, lively when it comes to poetry. Thank you for presenting thank your you poem. Presenting and your poem. Uh, now I would ask uh, Geeta Mohanty, ma'am, to this. this. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prasanna, for this opportunity again. Um, <laughs> is it fine now? <laughs> There yeah. is some noise always. Yeah. My second composition title is. <clears throat> Poor emotions trip up on again and again on the expectations like toddlers. They fall and get injured in the process of slow healing and get hurt again for the poor undone tenacity. Tenacity? Tenacity of heart. is also such that it keeps on beating mechanically no matter what missing and skipping the bits even as if in spite of applying the brake the train drags to a certain length out of inertia 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 is such that tears are easily accommodated with slow fading of just initiated nascent smile one thing is good it will have a practice of detachment sooner realization would be faster pain would be lesser expectations would be minimal and the smiles would be unconditional 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 that's the penance to attend the virtue to remain virtuous irrespective of every conditional treatment from the world Thank you so much, dear, for hearing me. Well, beautiful uses of finish and <laughs> like the earlier poem. Mick, what do you say? What do you want to say about this? No critique. I don't critique poems. I just read them and listen to them. Mm hmm. Okay, um, you could go on reading your second poem, Mick. All right. This one's called um, "I've Got a Title on Ukraine." Swim at the beach, then I had a shower. I think I wet myself. The war makes unhappy poets. The yellow and blue slowly desiccating. Gold buys weapons in more armaments companies' profit on human suffering. We observe the worst of capitalism, the fall of Kiev, destruction of democracy. News online: stream refugees crossing borders. Frankincense and myrrh sent rises over Ukraine sky. Across Ukraine, a cross. is absent on corpses the ukraine president marriage vows till death do us part war makes unhappy people a handkerchief in hand and tears on their faces wish for peace protest for peace peace has to have a voice that's all Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, where is Mildred? Uh, yeah, Mildred. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. <laughs> you could unmute your mic and uh, just 
read your comment. I mean, it will uh, give your review and read your poem too. Okay. I'm reading my poem. Thank you for that uh, poem about Ukraine. Um, I guess the war is going on again. So we hope and pray that there'll be peace on Ukraine. Anyway, on my poem, the title is In His Silence. Okay, in his silence, in the noisy world, his is a silent heart that captures me. How it deeply echoes our love unbound, but what intensity. Our world of serenity speaks of our humility in love with harmony. Our love is so pure, quite homely, but so lovely, deep sense of divinity. There is air freedom, but it brings our warm hearts closer, calming our worlds. Who needs the world when I have you in embrace, in silence? So <laughs> it may not have any sense when being spoken, but it's on paper. Anyway. <laughs> In his silence. That's my poem. Thank you very much. In his silence. Well, that's, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, I would uh, go to Jennifer. I mean, to ask mm -hmm. her, you know, her reaction. Jennifer, you could also read your poem. Through silence, a lot can be understood. So I liked your poem. It was a lovely one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, my poem uh, is called Spirits. Eyes closed, legs crossed. Over the middle passage, I sent my mind sailing on the vessel of deep meditation. I sat in a deep trance, working on a private seance. Spirits, spirits of the night, sit and talk to me. Spirits of the night, tell me, what do you see? Eyes closed, legs crossed, shooting across the sky. I sent my mind searching on the vessel of new revelation. Spirits, sit and talk to me, spirits of the night, tell me, what do you see? Will there be an end to the longest battle begun before the Son of Man was born? Will World War III be so long and bloody? Will the bones of the dead circulate the earth? Spirits, spirits of the night, sit and talk to me. Spirits of the night, tell me, what do you see? Talk to me. Thank you. <laughs> Very, very nice. Very nice, Jennifer. I would, uh, uh, Lucilla, I, I, my, I would go to my Lucilla to, you know, ask. Uh, yes. I uh, loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, also my quest. It's, I recognize myself into this. Uh, so passionate the encounter with the divine particularly in this historical moment where we really need to understand where are we going mm -hmm. and uh, for us it's now but you said it very correctly it's something that started before the coming of the son of uh, the divine it's uh, something that it's part of our ancient nature that yeah. you know so many thousand years after the beginning of civilization, we still need the yes. still need mm -hmm. wars to settle mm -hmm. problems. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I go now with the my poem. That is a poem for uh, it's a it's a poem, for, and I also wrote it during when the war started it doesn't talk about war but it talks about women how i see 
my my army is an army of women so we are we are the braids that unite hands that's you we are the beginning and we are the end solstice and summer nights we are the moons the river the earth we are tails around the fire silver that silver dance of veils we are deserts singing anklets, backs bent on rice fields, swollen bolts in the brothels of Russia, the cane, the wood and the voice of an old man in a foreign garden, almond milk, we are life on the mountains, by the lakes, pillars of sorrow, we are womb and nest, the cradle for those who want to return, we are blood that flows, we are life, we are love, snake, butterfly, spider web, and an apple, the Southern Cross, we are whisked. And, and the scream shocked. Come home, sister. Together we are, and together we remember. Together we narrate silence, never bridled. Together we give life to the new world. The lines we extend to infinity. When they ask you, you say, we are together, we are. Thank you. Wow. Lucille, I must say, it's, wow. For a moment, he rendered me speechless. What would he say? Hello? Yeah. It's pretty much this network issue and it's, it's, it's pretty much bad uh, it's difficult uh, thank Powerful you for him. yes indeed uh, thank you Lishila, for presenting such a powerful poem and now i would you know welcome our little big brother he is none other than big kv he is current weir I mean, let me introduce you to Karan Veer. He's an engineering graduate and he's a rapper. And he, Jennifer pretty well uh, knows him. And now today he's a uh, first time on our show. So please welcome Big KV, Little Big Brother, Big <laughs> KV, <laughs> Rockstar yeah. of the evening. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. I'm audible. Hey, I'm Rock audible. Up, Yes. Yes, you are yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, friends. Let me let, let me let, let me uh, um, say one thing. You would you wouldn't be disappointed in listening to you. Uh, just <laughs> great. Okay, go ahead, my dear. Yeah. Hello. First of all, hello everyone. My name is Big KV. I'm a rapper and a poet. And and uh, hi Jennifer. I saw you, oh. Jennifer Person. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so um, first of all, I really want to, uh, I want to apologize. I'm really late because I just returned from the office and I just came back home and I'm really sorry for that. But yeah, so how many uh, should I do first? How many should I do first? Prasan Bhaiya, how do I do you go ahead with your first first rapping and we'll go ahead. <laughs> okay. okay, it's your okay. Show now. I'll, I'll do one first, no? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, so the first poem that I'm doing is called uh, where is it? Yeah, the first poem I'm doing is called Resurrection. So as we all know what is resurrection, the poem goes like as per our ancestors' instructions, living is a myth and death is the truth. Every inch from consciousness to realization, be graceful and flourish a human should. Continuous competition between virtue and sin, life comprises of this contest with obstacles. One who loses it and one who wins is all registered in their accounts by the immortal. If one abandons the planet with mistakes uncorrected, the cursed soul craves to locate a new body. And one certainly do not need to resurrect who has attained the true name of the Almighty. A specific word for such enlightenment is perseverance. 
it's like being on mars only the deserving ones make it and the souls which get departed with pursued sins aftermath treats them just the way their life was created so this was my first poem resurrection yeah what would i say this is uh, my form of uh, my little brother i mean his big brother i would say. but okay, i would uh, now you would to listen to his rapping <laughs> okay 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 yeah so can you rock on uh, with your hindi yeah, rapping yeah yeah let me let me do a rap um so this rap is called wait i have to open the lyrics <laughs> this um uh, i'm doing one of the songs Okay so this is one of my songs called lethal it's uh, the name of the song is lethal and now we go i am audible now here yes perfect yeah, yeah okay okay so it goes as lahu beta naso mein lagi rehti hai daud use bhejta hai dil lekin kehta hai koi aur wo aqal hai jo had se zyada sochta bahut ke bechain rehta tan aur nirantar ye daud khud ke hai khayal jinki wajah se kaatu saza anxiety hai kafir ka naam jiski ye bala aadat lagne se pehle hi mera man thak gaya dekhe upper cut mein jhat se ban thak gaya apne aap se jang hui ye khatam sab se befikr aur pura aman तसली से लस्सी पी के कर ली है हजम और बाकी की भड़ास को निकाले मेरी कलम अंदर चलती सोच को शब्दों में मैंने बदल दिया लाल खून को नीली सियाही में है रंग दिया वर्ष लिखा बात को पहुंचाया आप तलक समझे हो या नहीं मुझे पड़ता घंटा नहीं फर्क आगे क्या होना है किसी को भी नहीं पता उसके बारे में चिंतित होने की मत करो खता जो होना है वो होगा हार्ट को करने दो पंप जैसे गीत पे लो राइडर गाड़ी करती है जम्प वरना कमी तो नहीं है यहाँ सन की लोगों की जिनकी मन की नहीं होती तभी फटी है जोरों की करते हैं चुगली वो भर के औरों की लगा गलत है करो जिंदगी खत्म कुछ जनों की दिल्ली का जो हादसा हुआ कस्तूरबा नगर में वो बंदे ना मर्द है वो औरतें कलंक है उस लड़की ने पहले ही कर दी थी ना उसके इस फैसले पे हम सबको बहुत गर्व है बदले में किया उसका मुंह काला काटे उसके बाल उसे पीटा और किया गैंग रेप ये सब क्या कम था तो किसी की बेटी को करके अपमानित निकाला परेड छाती पूरी तान के खड़ा में जैसे लीडर शेर वाली चाल को देख के डरे गीदड़ खौफ से ये कांप उठे घुस गए भीतर इनकी जान पे बनी बना मैं ली चलो थैंक यू सो मच सो वट यू <laughs> what you are waiting for my dear friends not out for me so padma ma what would you say yeah yeah i was just enjoying you know the way you uh, presented it it is really commendable and and the, the way you Uh, i mean use the words really it's really good and at the same time you know it's so touching uh, what i want to say is that you have put uh, all the facts very well in your yes. words and yeah, yeah yeah well presented thank really you good prasanna yeah, i would like thank to it is sensible like and uh, yeah it's a, it's a rhythmic rhythmic and the sensible nice to hear that uh, you know that you are so talented you know the please uh, keep uh, keep keep doing it yeah it's good prasanna so i would like to i like to please, add something please 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 thank you please please uh, a big kv it's a big congratulations to you you are really a rock star thank and you. it's so amazing to have you oh, i mean seeing you are uh, doing this um usually what we uh, conceive in our mind that rap songs are a little bit rough and metallic yeah. towards uh, the muscle and the brain and brain but what i found in this rap the uniqueness of your rap was a uh, very meaningful uh, very meaningful the uniqueness of your rap 
Okay, okay. usually okay. raps are meant for the very young generation because they are get attracted more towards it. And this yes, is a sir. very meaningful rap. So it yes, will definitely sir. catch the ears and the minds of the young generation. And with a very, very meaningful message in it, uh, really commendable. So that's a wonderful composition of rap as well as intellectual uh, thoughts in it. Uh, very well done uh, this way. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. See, I said that you wouldn't be disappointed. Be disappointed, <laughs> right? <laughs> So I'm got it now. Thank you, <laughs> my brother. Thank you, wife, for you. Thank know, you, brother. Uh, you're always there for you. Thank you. Coming to the show and you know making us, you know, giving us your thoughtful it and, uh, rap. Yeah. Thank you. Pro making it up. We have moving on. We have with us Jill Sharon Kimelan from US. Jill is a very. I mean, this is a. I mean, Jill. Good morning. Can everyone Good hear morning, me? Jill. Uh, welcome to the show, and uh, your, you could present your poem, um, two poems. Please accept my apologies. I have never overslept for anything, even especially an event. So I'm terribly sorry, and I thank you all. I am going to offer my first poem. Um, I know many of you, but others, it is a joy to meet you. I'll be reading in English, Lucilla, because unlike Lucilla, I don't speak seven languages. So I am reading a poem. Thank you for the smile, Lucilla. I'm, I wrote this poem in response to the mass shooting in Texas, and there have been more since. In my country, the USA, it is not yet even considered breaking news when we have a mass shooting, which is now defined as four for children, for teachers, for innocent slaughtered souls. I wrote this immediately following a terrible tragedy less than two weeks ago of an elementary school in Texas. For those of you who are not aware of it, um, the death count has climbed to 19, and those were all children. There were two teachers who died at, the, at that time. My heart grieves still for these children, and this poem has never been seen or heard before. We are failing our children. Where will they turn? These survivors of yesterday's violence and death, a world of heartbroken people. Who has the wisdom, strength, sense, to put an end to this senseless carnage. Our words, prayers are but cold comfort we offer to families of these innocent slaughtered souls. One day, a day unimaginable in this time of chaos. A dance of butterfly images will play before our eyes, delivering light into shuttered, shattered hearts. 10 million 
memory pictures already flowing, overflowing our hearts and minds. An impish grin on the face of a red haired charmer in a pink dress. Someone's precious seven year old squirming on Santa's lap. A brown eyed babe at his mother's breast yearning for all that is lost looking towards a future, dreaming of much needed illumination to shine through espresso dark nights and ever more tar black days. Today, we must pause in our collective grief to honor the blessing and gift of every single one of our children, praying for a restoration of joyous celebrations, pleading for a world restructured for nonviolence, a return to a hushed place of peace. Let tranquility in, bury away weapons of destruction, put an end to the shame we carry as a nation for once again, failing our children. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Do you have a second one, Jill? I do. Do you yes. have a second one? I do, yes. Please read. Please read this. Um, this is short. I'll give you the information before the poem. During the sad 20 years that the United States remained in the Middle East and every effort was made to save Afghanistan. Um, I wrote this poem in 2009 and it was take, it was a gift. I live in Delaware, USA. It was a gift to Delaware Boots on the Ground, a nonprofit organization that assists all our state's military members and their families using individual and corporate donations. Upon deployment to the Middle East, along with their important things, such as a card to get them into where they eat in the canteen and any other important document. I am humbled to tell you that each soldier received a copy of this poem. It was also posted on a section called Messages from Home in 2009 on their website. It allowed facilitation between um, our courageous troops and their loved ones back home. It is called You Are the Poem. It's actually the title of my first book. I, you are the poem. I will wait for you. 
You are the poem that fills my heart each and every morning. I sip my coffee, your favorite dark brew, cinnamon scented with vanilla, lots of cream, just the way I always made it for us. I selected your rooster mug with a tiny chip from our shelf of mismatched mugs. You had bent down to place sweet kisses upon my rosy lips when it slipped from my grasp. Do you remember? I keep myself warm, bundled deep within your sweaters, my spirit nourished from the pages of your letters. You are the dream I will awaken from when I feel your kiss upon my cheek. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well, a big round of applause, Jill. I think uh, she made us you know remain mute. I mean, mute for a moment. I mean. Jill, thank you for presenting. I mean, thank you for, you know, uh, presenting your poems. I mean, I'm uh, really honored uh, to be having you here. You know, uh, Jill, thank you. Uh, we are we're really thank, thankful to you. And thank you. I see Saint Fleur. It is here, Saint Floor, Saint Floor. He's here with, uh, I mean, he, I don't know whether he's a lady or you know, gentleman, but then I would ask to kindly unmute his mic. Saint Floor. He's just listening. Hassan, he's just listening. I'd invited him. Ah, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Now I would uh, go to Jay Shri Ma'am. Jay Shri Ma'am is there here with us. Completely unmute your mic. Jay Shri, ma'am. Hello. Jennifer, how are you doing? Oh, okay, no. Hello. No, no, no. Am I audible? Hello. Hello. Jennifer, how are you doing? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma audible. Yes, ma'am, you are. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Audible is and visible. Prashanna Kumar? Yes, yes ma'am, you are visible. Visible and audible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. My poem, A Panorama in the World. Amidst the course of daily life, my eyes get very open blood to the wall of the tiny room where your photo frame is placed. Countless uneventful conversations peep into my mind day and night. Often I try to talk to your photograph, but end up in harsh reality. You leave only the photo frame placed in the world in the tiny room where I have lived 10 long years 
since you left me one day my mind is overflowing with fragment pieces of an otherwise ordinary conjugal life only we two are privy to the memorable unlesses the series of flashes of days gone by sometimes an uncanny feel projects a panorama before my eyes astonishing the vivid as if real and constantly moving the wall from the corner to other with your photo frame in the lead amidst the course of daily life my eyes get very open lord to the wall in the tiny room where your photo frame is placed thank you beautiful ma'am beautiful beautiful uh, please stay well and we we read out for a read out a second poem and before that i will go to ganga lakshmi ma'am ganga lakshmi ma'am lost thank you very much thank you ma'am hello by the invitation of yes, ma'am go ahead with your poem hello may i read the second one okay by the my... invitation of no i'll come back to you ma'am in your while oh by the invitation of prasanna ji let me go for second recitation monsoon is here now i'm going to touch monsoon and we are all touched by monsoon india's monsoon is unique it has its own indescribable joys even if comes late the taste of crunchy pakoras with a steamy cup of tea is very gorgeous i would like to recite a poem torrential downpour torrential downpour while monsoon slowly knocks at my doors to me an inexplicable power of magic insulates while monsoon slowly knocks at my doors to me an inexplicable power of magic insulates many images float on the veil of my eyes an unknowable bird of memory flies over my skies many images float on the veil of my eyes an unknowable bird of memory flies over my skies reminding me of my one time love letters that i had thrown into the lap of rains remembering me of my one time love letters that i had thrown into the lap of rains where all the voices of lovely moments romantically patter like rain where all the voices of lovely moments romantically patter like rain i renew my breath drenched in monsoon rains holding everything as the sound of rain shocks i renew my breath drenched in monsoon rains holding everything as the sound of rain shocks monsoon memory acts like a mirror makes my vision more and more warmer monsoon memory acts like a mirror makes my vision more and more warmer such a rare gift i treasure beyond times on inhibited measure such a rare gift i treasure beyond times on inhibited measure this is the end of my second recitation thank you prasanna ji thanks thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you for presenting your beautiful poems now i would go to padma ma'am to uh, you know uh, padma ma'am you could recite your second poem yeah yeah yes, yes. give me a moment please yeah. can i read no can i recite ma'am but yeah 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 uh, the title of my poem it's a very short poem i just wrote it uh, i wrote it only today <laughs> is it a curse or blessing am i blessed with technology or immensely cursed today 
am i blessed with technology or immensely cursed today a message with no affection a word with no human connection a fingertip that types a sentence of sadness gladness concerns and distance that is long so long you only speak to me in a need your mind still i can't read your mind still i cannot read logical mind compels you to say and your say is out of ignorance see i have not seen you for ages you have not uttered you have not uttered a word for a long am i cursed or blessed dear gone are the days of gathering yesterday's moment is a memory today's today is trapped in a cell phone no vision so far about tomorrow thoughts are now interlocked unlimited ideas spoil the soul the alter to alter this state is one's road thank you technology and is thank you ma'am thank you thank you for uh, you know presenting your second poem uh, now i would go to shyama prasad patnaik sir to present his second poem one minute just a minute just a minute sir so my second poem is having the title soul met the title of my poem is soul met like an al alien fairy princess you embarked on my on air trip of my soul you transformed into my soul met and your soul conjoined with my soul you satiated my thirst of love with your service selfless and unconditional my life was aimless with no specific purpose prior to your arrival you kept in and propelled the boat of my life in turbulent ocean the tempest just came and vanished into thin air before any devastation we basked in lovers eternal winds of wind under beaming bright spring moon the vivacious cuckoo sang in her sweet melodious tune on our union both soulmates forgot themselves and laughed blissfully in nature's bountiful floral garden the eden's bird flew with messages of euphoria to world of unknown and that is the end of my second poem thanks for giving me a chance to decide my second poem thanks thank you sir thank you for presenting your second poem now i will call upon jay shri ma'am to present his thank you, thank you. may i audible audible yes ma'am yes ma'am go ahead with your second poem okay thanks uh, my second poem is my repetitive soul means the soul who repeated shown by me unending leisurely moments follow when every piece of job is finished or as it so appears no one is really nostalgic about everybody or anyone no one cares for any feelings purported to be very special past turns out to be an unnecessary avoidable memory tough future is neither reachable every moment is uncertain 
every woman seems to be predestined but sure be sure everything can happen to make you dumb and impressed by the touch of magical wonder lamp of aladdin by the touch of magical wonder lamp of aladdin as the fable goes by as the fables goes by when the march towards future is said to be inevitable past becomes redundant of the days gone by days gone by my repetitive self unending leisurely moment follow when every piece of job is finished or as it so appears thank you beautiful ma'am beautiful beautiful the way you recited the way you rendered the poem is so beautiful now thank you thank you for presenting your beautiful poem and now i would go to kalipada goshar to straight away uh, to ask to straight away present two poems of his hello am i audible kalipada goshar yes. yes sir go ahead Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are ready. Good evening, to all. You present your two points, sir. Ah, yes. Good evening to all. Uh, I beg apology for uh, my delay in poetry recital this evening, and I was in a cultural function, social and cultural function, so I was delayed, and uh, I beg apology for this. At the outset, I express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to my brother Kumar Prasanna ji for inviting me to attend the poetry evening. This uh, prestigious platform by hosted by Kumar Prasanna ji, Pen Wonders International, in collaboration with uh, Fertile Brains, and I express my heartfelt gratitude to all the admin, uh, admins and moderators and all the dignitaries of the prestigious uh, platforms. I am going to recite my poem. I am going to be yours. I am going to be yours. Your sighs whispering into my ears. I am feeling your heart throbs. Your sighs are my tears. trickling down my cheeks your eyes pierce and perforate through my soul and see the restlessness in me your compassion pours on my head like the benedictions of sunset hills we are changing through and through the world is going to change you and me no exception We'll see it side by side, flooded in the moonlit night, wooing drop by drop upon us. The doors of heart are not closed, remaining open day and night, peeping the ray of light and hope, surely to be fulfilled on some day. We too will perch like doves on the branch and sing a melodious song of life. We are impulsive but not puissant. in heart and soul our voyage will soon resume we'll meet on the sea beach the blue ocean embracing us we'll start a voyage in glee my soul parching with pangs your heart excited with serene love mingling with the silent surges of the blue so ecstatic with aroma and aura of love we are one and whole but to free from the cares and anxieties of the mundane world with the pulsing delight so i am going to be yours in the stormy and perilous voyage the hurricane and typhoon marriage soon be pacified with the waves of love the soulful love may lead our daring voyage may end tonight but we to be guided with the light 
the light of love will guide and direct the soul's voyage, our soul's voyage. I am going to be yours. We are one and whole forever and forever. Thanks to all. Thank you, sir. You could read out your second poem, sir. My second poem entitled Your Smile. Your smile. Your winsome smile is divine, coming from heart and soul, a feeling of ecstatic joy and happiness, relieving pain and anxiety, a soul soothing and searching, an expression of cheerfulness, an aesthetic pleasure, an emotional exuberance, always triumphant and spontaneous. The winsome smile of mother, or a beloved or a handsome maiden is as translucent and divine as the murmuring spring or translucent lake where wild ducks and drakes floating and splashing water on the silk and feathers. The falling of yellow leaves in winter in silence and quietude or the aftermath fusion of the meditation and cogitation and aesthetic and ecstatic pleasure and contentment. Smile is an elixir to the torture and molested souls to renew and energize the mundane life, forgetting the depression and despair of the hoary past. Thanks to all. My regards and thanks to all. That's indeed beautiful, sir. I would uh, ask. Uh... You know, the fact Gita may have Mohanty Ma'am to share her view. Thank you so much, Prasanna, for allowing me. <clears throat> yeah, um, Kalipada Ghosar, uh, his poems are always very profound uh, in, sen in the sense of his language, the words he uses, and the intensity of each and every poem are really, really deep. So I appreciate him always for his so beautiful writing and uh, really poetry is that, but um, he, I mean, recited so beautifully. Um, yeah, the look, the smile, and it's just not the look and the smile, but the it's way beyond those things, what physically we try to understand or portray, just not that words, it's look or smile, but it is way beyond it he narrated it so soulfully, so beautifully, touching the heart and a soul. Um, it is a very fine and a subtle feeling in those descriptions. Nowhere you would see a crude um, touch of his word and all. It is so subtle, so beautiful ways he has narrated a proper justification to the poetry. Uh, thank you so much um, for letting us hear your poems. Thanks to all. Thank you, thank you. Indeed, it is, uh, you know, that's a nice review. I mean, it's a great, uh, you know, <laughs> review, I would say. Uh, would you like to continue, Jennifer, with Gita Mohanty, ma'am? Okay, my poem is titled Immortality. No, 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 I'm just asking about the review, you know. Oh, review, okay. Mr. Gosh, um, your first poem was a beautiful love poem. The second one, Smile, evokes a lot of wonderful emotions. I really, really admire it. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, stay, stay for a while. Uh, I will uh, now ask uh, Prasanna Bhatsal to in the second poem. Thanks for inviting Gita's second poem. Sir, keep uh, keep your uh, poem a short one, sir. Short no, one, short one. one. Really, it is a long poem, but I am trying to complete within three pages. Life is high, high, and bye, bye. High, high, and bye, bye. High, high childhood, then I in new world. Thinking to be merry and cherry water, not to feel anything till years roll. 
passing time with the friends like parts parlor. Hi, hi. When I see little, little hair under nose by my childhood standing in young coach, she young, hi, hi, young, by my childhood, and join the time with the young company, feeling how Jokan and Jolly were all a company. Why, by young, why, by young, having seen white hair, wrinkled skin, and feeble mind, listening grandpa or granny, makes high, high old grind, makes high, high old grind. Life is rolling on and on, on and on. Thank you for listening, my father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... Uh, for presenting your uh, second poem. I think I, we have finished it uh, in uh, two rounds. Uh, Jennifer, what would you say? I mean, have you read your, I mean, Jennifer? Uh, I have already read two poems. Okay, okay. So yeah, we pretty much finished the two rounds with two poems, uh, you know, fairly. Uh, but then, uh, let me check. I think, uh, yeah, I said, Isaac is there, he has to present. Okay, Isaac, go ahead with your second poem. <clears throat> yeah. I the poem. I feel love. I feel love. I became an angel. You are love. You tend to amuse. How marvelous is to see an angel love and use. How marvelous it is to see an angel love and use. Thank you, Adikoin Israel. Thank wow. you, Kumar. Uh, thank you, thank you, Isaac. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so we have pretty, uh, we have concluded. I mean, we have uh, finished our two rounds with two poems, pretty much. I think before concluding, uh, we have Jill. Jill, that she would be, she would be, uh, she would like to read a third poem on to celebrate. I mean. Uh, 60th anniversary, you know, marriage anniversary. Jill, go ahead with your third poem. Jill on special request. Jill, go ahead. With your I thought it might be a good way um, to end um, many of these poems all so magical, all so memorable, and what an honor it is to have been invited to be with you, all of you exceptional poets. Um, this poem is what some people call my signature poem. I'm always asked to share it, and I wanted to end on a very happy note. So if I may, this is, if any, can anyone see this photograph? No. This photograph was taken no. in 1939, my own grandparents' wedding portrait. I wanted you to see how gorgeous the dress was. This poem is called Dancing in the Kitchen. 60 years together still. They dance in the kitchen like movie stars from 1939 with her eyes closed she imagines herself to be this man's siren. 
all heady scents, fiery hair, throaty whispers. She could be a star of the silver screen, alabaster wrists, swan neck, flashing emeralds and rubies, the whisper of her caresses delivered by hands in long satin gloves. With his eyes shut, he could be the UPS man, 25 years old in summer shorts, flashing a devil of a smile. His lips deliver a commanding brush of sea deep kisses that rock her from her toes to her cerebellum and back again. There is music, a solo saxophone drifting in through the open windows, soul stirring on a cool and scented breeze. Icy cocktails are produced as smooth as slipping skin. He removes her gloves, allowing her fingers to graze the rim of her frosted glass. Pluck a briny glistening olive and place it between his teeth. It's a shabby room, scuffed up floors, a patched screen door, countertops in avocado green. He washes, she dries. That's the way it's always been. Sweet tea and ice cold beer to toast yet another perfect sunset as if he had arranged it all just for her pleasure. His face crinkles with that funny lopsided smile she knows so well. He fiddles with an old black radio, slow, sweet jazz fills the kitchen, spilling into every corner. Crossing the room, he takes her hand. 60 years of Saturday nights, still dancing in the kitchen. Thank you. It is a true story. Thank you. Uh, Mick, would you like to say something? Mick. Um, love stories and dancing. It's the joy of life, I suppose, isn't it? And being together with a person for so long. There's a lot of history. Write some more. Write some more. Write more. Mick, it's this a is, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Been 60 years is a lot of history. Well done. And I met them dancing. when I was 10 years old. And the husband has since passed away. The best, my mother's best friend to that day, to today is 86 years old and is still dancing in the kitchen with a different partner. But all that matters is she's thriving. And he got the chance to hear this poem. And it was even calligraphied, framed, and placed in their bedroom. The first thing they saw when they awakened, and the last thing they saw when they woke up. 
went to sleep. So thank you for allowing me to share this very special piece. Thank you so well, much. Let's wind up. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Jill. Thank you, your friend, for coming <clears throat> and you know presenting. Well, before concluding, I think before winding up, I would. Uh, 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 it's bet I would li I'd like to ask Rakesh Chandra sir to sum up the event with his you know uh, with his view. I mean, Thank you so and much. Also, I'll read and uh, you are free to unmute mics and uh, share your opinion, whatever you want. And Thank you. Thank you so much, Ji. Actually, <clears throat> as a as a listener to this poetry, you see, uh, evening, as a reader, one comes across the two cross sections of poetic genesis. On the one hand, there is poets like Mick, Jill, Mildred, and uh, one or two other poets who talked about the present international scenario, that means the constant wars and the mass shooting in USA. And on the other thing, other aspect, which has been reflected by the poets is that of love, of nature, of good things of life. From one angle, you see, you find that man is at the epicenter of every kind of pain, agony, disaster, and all bad things. But the irony is that man is the only cause for all that. If he, is there, there, there are wars just because of men's greed for power, for money, for expansionist activities, views. And if nature is not supporting him or to his intentions. That is reason is again simple because man is the basic, you see, reason for destroying the natural habitat, the natural ecosystem. So man is at the epicenter of everything. If he's not getting that, what he wants to get from nature or from the earth or from the globe, global perspective, then root cause is his own ambitions, his own you see thought processes, that is a one, one aspect. But the other aspect is more important. You know, poet should write what he feels about the world. He, he should not be dictated by, uh, by others or, or by uh, taking cue from the others what they think about that. A poet should be honest to his own ideas, his own vision on version. So my view is that as a, as a youthy connoisseur of poetry, that uh, the wars, the shootings, and every bad thing that will remain till the civilization lives. In any point of time in human history, there has not been a peace, you see, a, a period of peace or interregnum of peace, entire peace. This is just impossible. So what a role the poet has to play. The poet has to light the lamp of, you see, hope of goodness of things through his poetic genius. So I think otherwise what would happen? You see, Jennifer has very well uh, summed up. In all this uh, atmosphere of war, shootings, and everything, only spirits will live, not the man. And that, that thing is not going to happen anywhere in, in our lives or in the lives of our children. That will never happen. What we have to do as a poet is to, lamp that, to light the torch of joy, happiness, hope, and all good things of life to our, to the medium of our poetry, which God has gifted us. So in that way, the lesson for the tonight is that 
come what may, despite all the bad things, all the, you see, uh, excruciating pain uh, evolving things. And uh, I, I would like to mention one more aspect. Actually, poet, poetess Dr. Gita has very aptly, you see, mentioned it. For a person with a sensitive heart, he is fighting million battles on the personal front. Every little aspect which touches on the courts of our heart, that is also very, you see, giving us immense pain. Although they may, they may not be touching uh, to our persona, but somewhere as a, in a poetic heart, it touches our, you see, soul and heart, and it gives us pain. So from wars to million battles, personal battles, man is the epicenter. And I repeat, if we have to change this atmosphere, we as a poet can do a lot. The whole humanity looks upon, the, looks at us, we the poets, the academicians, the writers, because they provide, you see, the way, way out of this, all these troubles and also they raise hopes. So, as long as uh, you see the earth is there, all that the civilization is there, nature will always be there. Sun will rise every day, moon will come up every day, rains will come, everything will be there. Maybe quantity, maybe you see, or the duration may be somewhat, you see, topsy turvy, but everything will be there. So there is hope, there is love. So I really. Uh, congratulate all the poets for presenting the different aspects of you see of our world emotions and your thought processes through their brilliant poetry i really enjoyed this evening with all these lovely poets and uh, my my take is that uh, uh, one should never give up hope as long as we are living on this earth because it is the hope which uh, kindles our path, which uh, which makes us move towards our end or, or pass our journey uh, uh, on uh, right notes. And on this uh, positive note, because uh, I can I can't help myself, I'm a born optimistic, so I always see hope in or uh, in good situations in life. I always seek, uh, I always, you see, see the, you, you see, brilliant side or the uh, enlightened side of everything. So uh, my poetry reflects uh, all these, uh, you see, aspects of life. I'm a keen, you see, um, uh, what you say, protagonist of humanity and keen protagonist of life, hope, and all good things. If you permit me, personality uh, though I should recite my one poem which is reflecting the same feeling if you kindly permit me mm, I think as uh, sir we have we are we pretty much uh, beyond uh, the time so we could uh, so kindly excuse oh. me please so, so, you know no no uh, problem could, uh, no problem no problem so uh, uh, with, <laughs> with uh, uh, since we... <laughs> no problem this is a uh, what I wanted to say about this poetic I, evening, it, it, I, I think this is the, uh, you see, this is the right note at which this poetic evening should end. With all, uh, mm -hmm. with all wishing you all the, uh, you see, best in life, I take your leave and thank you, Sanaji, for giving me this opportunity. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. No more. Yeah, what two rounds? <laughs> no, three, 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 right? no, this one. And that's not, uh, thank you, sir. This is really. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Just a gumption of, you know, the other guy. No, just I, I want to put the matter said, uh, I've only recited only one poem. So, but my. my, oh, my one poem. Uh, yes, oh, sir. So you can yeah. read it no, yourself. No, but, no, no, but that's that's not point. That was not the point. You said uh, that is why I replied. But actually, the the best thing is that I have I had the occasion to hear all these beautiful poets around the globe, and these wonderful poets. 
that was my real reward for this evening thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you sir thank you for understanding so i i i, I, I excuse i mean uh, no nothing nothing so, uh, i mean uh, uh, padmavati ma'am are you there i mean uh, she could continue with rakesh sir's uh, what you know recitation or you know like uh, poetry reading but we could also you know share the the entire thing you know the, the you know the, so that is that's why i ask you to sum up the thing about <laughs> ma'am so she is not here with us so we can uh, maybe jennifer uh, or mildred you are free to uh, yeah i just would like to say this uh, today's evening was i mean in india today's evening and here in us morning was a beautiful um event happened and we all enjoyed listening each other's poem little bit technical difficulties were there that's fine <laughs> uh, but some points really touched me especially jill um talking about uh, the intense uh, things which happened here in us um it's really really very painful heart wrenching composition jill uh, i heads up to you daring to put all those painful emotions it's very difficult to put what she did and it's definitely awakening for all soulful people uh, to hear that poem i i really admire that a uh, god's of her to present this carry and um, heart wrenching uh, event which has happened and uh, also her other poems are good most of the poets they recited beautiful poems about love about life about nature and uh, that was wonderful and we had a rock star big kevi he just rocked the show and it was amazing uh, we all enjoyed especially uh, the way he recited and all that was um a additional uh, cherry to the top of the cake uh, so <laughs> So yeah, all others' poems were really amazing. I enjoyed all the poems, and thank you, Prasanna, so much for having me here and for your kind invitation. Um, I would like to add that much. Thank you all for hearing us. I just want to say one last thing, Prasanna Bhaiya. I just want to know, uh, like, I have I see a lot of Bengalis right now in this meeting. So like, who baro laglo shobai ke mile, and I don't know how many of you Bengalis are here. You are Bengali. Yes, I am not oh. Bengali, but I am from Bengal. Okay, so oh. I was thinking you are Punjabi. Yeah, I am Punjabi actually. I am a. So we Punjabi. are waiting to hear another Bengali rap sometime. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a poet. Uh, I have a poem in. Uh, I have a rap actually in Bengali, but since we are out of time, I'll do it next time. Yeah, sure. I maybe mean, next time we'll hear from you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. उट <laughs> but uh, whatever i heard all the poems were really good and especially some poems you know very uh, good to listen and depth in meaning uh, i mean the intensity was really good various topics we could listen poems on various topics yeah i really enjoyed and it's uh, also a learning session i can say that we all learned from each other and it was really nice thank you exactly man it's it's yeah. only for learning yeah. in fact i would say <laughs> yeah you can say other that <laughs> we 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 learn from <laughs> others see sometimes see, what happens uh, 
Yeah. We sometimes what happens you must, is that we yeah. write we write in our own style. Uh, the, we will come to know how others write their style of writing and the way they put up the words and such things. So, so many things like that, you know, we will come to know. Yeah, it's a good platform to learn from others and I mean, listen to exactly. them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, to tell the fact that the, the Rajesh, Rajesh Chandra sir, you know, he given a I mean, the, he summed up the thing, you know, it is like a seminar. I mean, it is a lecture for us, you know, uh, that's the thing, you know. Uh, so, on that note, what would you say, Jennifer? No, I do agree that it's a lovely platform to learn from each other because there are so many different styles of writing. There are so many different ways where we write on, some of us write on the same themes, but the different ways in which we express ourselves, you know, is really yeah. wonderful and unique. So it, it, it's, it's a great platform and I enjoy being here. Thank you. I feel thank like you. a part thank of you, the Jennifer. family. Thank you. Thank you. On that note, and uh, today's evening would be, you know, uh, ending, I mean, uh, would be con concluding with uh, Rakesh Chandra sir's um, you know, poem and also his, uh, his kind words. Rakesh Chandra says once again. What is that? With your poem, you could finish the show. <laughs> no, it's already late, you know. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 no. Uh, it is not fair. Thank you, sir. thank you, Prasnaji. This is poem about two small kids. One is uh, shining the shoes, uh, sitting on the pavements of the road, and the other is going to school in a car. There's a contrast between the two. How, how do these kids think about the life? The title of my poem is, is Striving for the Thousand Sons. Life is a teacher, and we are the sincere pupils. Equipped with different tools in our hands. We are seated on the hard and rough pavement of realities of routine human endeavors. We both are honing our skills and humbly trying to outshine others in the same trade or calling. We are trying hard to clear the dirt from the dead leather skin of shoes and to activate the brain cells at different times. While the doors and windows are wide open in the broad daylight for one of us, the other is attempting to open the mind's eyes and to unravel the mysteries of universe through the pages of books after books. We both are striving hard to collect the every shaft of bright sunshine. We both are striving hard to collect that where every shaft of bright sunshine, we will create one day an aura of our own, more resplendent than the thousand suns. Thank you. It's a nice poem, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a born, born optimistic. That's why I, I can write only such type of poems only. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Dr. Well, Kumar, I'm sorry, please go ahead. See, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Me. Um, I wanted to let everyone know, and this is not self promotion, it's for you. Um, once my long awaited website is complete, my goal is not for people to find my work. More importantly, I wish to showcase new voices, and that's a broad term. Whether you've been published many fun. times, yeah. but done something different in terms of your newest project, I invite every one of you 
to please get in touch with me on Facebook Messenger, or I'll be happy to leave my email in the chat. It's a joy to me mentoring. I have a precious mentor in Nigeria whose first uh, novel just came out, but her fourth book, I'm not sure who's the student and who's the teacher, but I wish to showcase anyone interested. Once we've had you up on the website for four to six weeks, we will continue to have that section, all of your information and continually update it. I'm looking at by now with the first four slots filled close to the end of the year, but I'm not going anywhere. And it's my greatest joy to tell you my goal is to showcase your work. So please allow me to do so. And once again, thank you so much. I've, there's so much love in this room, in this brave, safe, brave space. And there's so much love. I'm working on a poem based on that feeling from other events, but truly this morning to be welcomed so warmly, to hear these incredible pieces that I'm going to search out and find. Um, I just want to let you all know, thank you so much for allowing me to be um, able to give you accurate information in the USA, because what goes on here, even though we have free media and anything can be said, is much different from what your own media advises you is going on in what once was a superpower in the country, in the world, we're not. It's a sad realization, but you're hearing it from a citizen of the US, just like I'm honored to hear directly from my dear friends in India, in Nigeria, in the Philippines, and know that I can trust that much more than media information. So please think, accept my gratitude and allow me to showcase you. And Dr. Kumar, you've been so kind to me. Thank you. I look forward to reading all of your work that I might've missed and absolutely look forward to our friendship grow. Thank you. No, thank you, ma'am. We are so are we thankful to you for you know presenting your uh, you know listening and uh, you know sharing your yes, I mean <laughs> what would they say? And thank you one and all for you know making this event uh, you know beautiful with and memorable. I would say a pen wonders poetic evening with fertile brands.